Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here on how much power does a person lose with SWRs or having high SWRs. Now, I know there's other factors to take consideration. If you got good coax, good quality coax, um, so this, for this calculator and this chart does not include that. So, um, and, and I did a video on the uh, coax, and I'll post a link to that. If you don't have really good coax or good quality, you can lose up to half of your wattage by the time it gets to the antenna. So, but I'll post that link. I'll post a link to these websites in the description below so you can check it out and kind of play with it yourself. Um, but let's see how much do you really lose because of high SWRs. Now, like I said, this does not include cables or connectors. Um, as you know, connectors don't do a lot. Uh, I did a video on that, and I'll post that link, too, in the description below. Um, but at any rate, it's, it's kind of interesting, you know. Uh, it, like here, there's a formula, too, you, you, can, you can do. I, just, I have a, a website that I found that lets you calculate it all, so... Um, and this example here, this particular person is using 4 watts of power. So if you have a SWR of 1.5, you're going to lose about 4%. So it's only like about 96% effective radiant power, ERP. And that's what ERP stands for. Um, the wattage would be 3.84. So, yeah, I mean, obviously you're going to lose some. It, you know, the more wattage you are outputting, then you'll see a little bit more, you know, obviously. Um, so it's not like, you know, majorly, obviously, like with, with this four watts, you know, you're, you know, here's four watts at 1.5. So, yeah, you know, if you go to this, this uh, calculator here, you got to know the DMB, and then it will convert it to 4 watts. So 36 uh, D, D, dBm is 4 watts. Uh, and I, for comparison here, let's make sure how accurate this calculator is. Uh, you can see here 3.84, 3.82. So it's, this calculator is pretty, pretty accurate. So if I want to, like, say, let's leave it at 1.5, and let's do 50 watt. That would be 47 here, and we're going to hit calculate. So the the reflective power you lose about two watts. So yeah, you know, you know, obviously the higher the power, the, the more you're going to see it. Um, actually, it's 50.1, but close enough. But yeah, it's about two watts, not including if you got poor, you know, cable, obviously, or poor quality cable. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously there's going to be some. I, I I know some people think, you know, you know, oh my gosh, it's 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 a whole bunch. Well, you know, I mean, if you go real high, it is obviously an SWR. Uh, you know, you start getting up to 1.7, uh, you know, 1.8, um, anything a, a anything 1.5 and below is acceptable, you know, safe. Um, you start getting to two, that's, that's getting, that's getting up there, you know, but yeah, anything 1.5, uh, but at any rate, you know, like I say, you can play with this if, if you really want to, you know, know if I put 1.8 and then we hit calculate, even at four Watts, you're still putting out 3.6, you're losing 0. 0.325, mm, you know, let's put 50 in there and Eh, four watts, so you know there. I mean, obviously, the more wattage, you're going to see more of a, of a drop. So, you know, if you know, it's good to know. Let's go 1.9. Yeah, 4.8 watts. You go down to 45 watts. Let's put this to uh, four watts. 3.5, a half a watt. So. And that's at 1.9. So, I mean, this, this is good to know. I mean, this way you can kind of, you know, kind of calculate. Well, how much am I really losing by the time I, you know, or, you know, when it's at the uh, antenna? 
um, the, the radiant power, how, how much am I getting? So this is kind of nice to know. And this little calculator makes it makes it really nice. But uh, I'll post all the links down below. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. And thank you and have a good day.